One of the largest and most intricate corn mazes in the entire country is right here in Minnesota. And this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson takes us to Stony Brook Farms near Foley to show us how the maze gets a little more amazing each year. Definitely small town USA, everybody knows everybody. That's because many of the families that live in Foley have been here for generations. They are as rooted as the crops they grow. We start in the spring with asparagus. Um, we do sugar snap peas, green beans, broccoli. Um, we roll into sweet corn, which is our biggest crop. Brad Shimoleski and his family run Stony Brook Farms. They grow vegetables for grocery stores, but not all of their corn ends up in a supermarket. And then you decide somewhere along the line, we should make a maze. Our first year we started, it was just basically a pumpkin with kind of a maze, you know, in there. From a simple pumpkin in 2016 to one of the largest mazes in the world. Last year, Stony Brook put together an extremely detailed maze full of scary movie characters. And they did it all in 110 acres of corn totaling 15 miles of pathways. We had uh, Jason Voorhees, we had uh, Freddy Krueger, Pennywise the Clown from IT, we had Chucky, cool different stuff like that. They also saw their number of visitors jump 500% from the year before, with people coming from around the world. This year, there's a Jurassic Park theme. This is actually in the tractor cab with us when we're planting. After he gets an idea, Brad works with a company called Maze Play to design his autumn adventure. Then he uses the best of farm technology to get the labyrinth just right. If you actually zoom in on it a little bit, you can actually see there's lines. And each one of those little lines there is a planter pass. Going a steady three miles an hour. The program tells his tractor where to drop seeds in the spring so he gets this in the fall. This year, instead of strolling through Freddy Krueger's head, visitors can walk through the neck of a brontosaurus. So yep. the neck is that way. Yeah, neck is that way, and the T-Rex and the Stegosaurus are over that way. They also made this maze cheap proof by planting the corn stalks tightly together and in two different directions, so you can't bust right through it. The record for getting through the most difficult maze last year was 40 minutes, but some people can spend hours trying to find their way. You've never got lost. I haven't gotten lost. Not yet anyway. You know, if you do, you just keep on going in one direction and you'll hit a road eventually. But for most visitors, it's less about the end result and more about the journey. It's a ton of fun. We're blown away by the people who just say, thank you for doing this. Really, next year we don't know what we're gonna do, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. <laughs> in Foley, John Lordson, WCCO News. A QR code is available at the maze to show you where you are and how to get out quickly. Stony Brook also has pumpkin basketball and a corn pit.